Hi, this is Bob from Insidium, and in this video we're going to have a look at the amazing speed improvements that you're going to experience as part of our new public release of X-Particles, which will be out on the 1st of November. The X-Particles engine has been completely rewritten. The modifiers and particles work differently and are now much, much faster. We've also rewritten our main fluid solvers to make them much quicker and more accurate to solve. And there is a brand new X-Particles collision system, which again is so much faster than its predecessor. So this has already been introduced to our early access beta program users, but it's now fully tested and it is ready for public release. So let's revisit some of those speed tests where we compared the current release build to what will be the new public release. Let's jump in. In this first scene, I have an X-Particles emitter and is shooting half a million particles on the first frame. It's being manipulated by a curl turbulence. And as you can see, we have half a million particles in the viewport and I'm able to orbit around this with ease. Let's restart this scene and see what playback is like. So very smooth viewport playback with half a million particles and again I can orbit right the way around the scene and the viewport performance is excellent. Let's increase this now to a huge amount. We'll go up to uh, one and a half million particles. And viewport performance is still pretty good. Uh, we are playing through, every single particle is being drawn and we're getting frames per second which is workable. And if I pause it there, we can see I've got a million and a half particles in live in the scene and I'm still able to orbit around this particle cloud relatively easily. I can dolly in, go right the way through, come back and we've maintained excellent viewport performance. So let's test the speed of this scene with the current build of X-Particles along with the new update. For this test, the current release build can be seen on the left hand side of your screen and on the right, the new updated version. You can see a live particle counter and also the CPU performance. Both versions will play an identical scene simultaneously. And as you can see, the updated build on the right of your screen is incredibly quick, much faster than the current release. And it's finished. 91 frames simulated in just over 10 seconds with a frames per second of just over eight. And there finishes the current build, lagging behind 16 seconds to complete with five frames per second. This scene demonstrates the new XP Fluid PBD object. Calculations are faster and simulations are far more physically accurate. Particle density is calculated more efficiently and you have independent subsets and iteration settings. By default, these settings are set automatically. If you need more control, you can set the minimum maximum substeps and the minimum maximum iterations. These are independent from any other scene objects, meaning you don't needlessly slow down the simulation of your scene. Let's compare the new XP Fluid PBD with the current release version. So let's start this test on the left hand side of your screen is the current release build, on the right hand side of your screen the new updated version. And immediately you can see that the update is massively faster. It's processing its way through the scene much more quickly and there are fewer stray particles which are bouncing around all over the place and escaping from the container. And there it is finished, 13 seconds the total time with an average frame per second of just over 7 and we can see that the current release build is still making its way through this simulation. Exactly the same settings here. So we're just coming into the last 10 frames now, and there it is. So it finishes a total time for the current release build of 35 seconds with a frames per second of 2.8. That means that the new build is over two and a half times faster than the current release build. Particle to object collisions are now calculated dynamically. This means that they're very efficient and therefore very fast to simulate. Traditionally, 
If particles were colliding with an object like this, which had a very dense polygon mesh, it could slow the process down quite considerably. Millions of calculations were needed to take every frame. But now with the smart dynamic collisions, the majority of these polygons don't need to be taken into account. If we go into the collisions tag and select draw bounds, we can just see how the mesh is divided only in the areas where the calculations for collisions need to take place. This ensures that the scene runs incredibly smoothly, even with models with millions of polygons. Let's see how the current version of X-Particles compares with the new collisions in the update. So here's our test. The new build again is on the right of your screen, the current build on the left. Now don't blink when we play this one. The new build is going to simulate this scene incredibly quickly. And there it is, finished. And the current release build that doesn't have the dynamic collisions processing is still chugging through this scene. And it's because it's having to calculate every single polygon in that mesh and give it a collision value. So we're just coming up to the end. And then finally the current release build finishes. So in this test, the new build is 16 times faster at calculating those collisions than in the current build. So as you've just seen, pretty amazing speed improvements in the new X particles. This is the new public release version. It'll be out on the 1st of November and all users with an up-to-date maintenance will get this as a free upgrade. So once it's out, download it, install it, and we can't wait to see what you create. Until next time, I'll see you later.